Hi there. Today I'd like to show you how to install Windows 10 IoT Core on a Raspberry Pi device. I'll go over the things you'll need to do this and give you step-by-step -step instructions. Let's get started. Okay, the things you'll need to install IoT Core, uh, you'll need a Raspberry Pi device. I'm using a uh, Raspberry Pi Model 3B. Uh, you'll also want a monitor with an HDMI cable that you can plug into the Pi, like that. Uh, an SD card. That this is what where the software or the, uh, the software is going to go on. So I'm using a SanDisk Ultra 16 meg, uh, 16 gigabyte. Uh, a card reader that uh, we can put the SD card into, and this is where uh, we'll use this to burn the uh, operating system onto that. Uh, power cord for the Pi. A keyboard and mouse. Uh, I'm using wireless ones with the dongles plugged in here. And then uh, an Ethernet cable to hook the Pi into your wired network. Uh, this Pi also does have wireless, so we'll hook that up when we uh, install Windows 10 IoT Core so that it can uh, go to your wireless network as well. First, plug your SD card into your computer, and then you'll need Windows 10 IoT Core dashboard installed on your PC. So if you go to this location, you can download the IoT Core dashboard from that link right there. And once you have it installed, it will come up. Uh, it's an application, it'll come up and it'll start you out with the listing of how many devices it sees in your system. Since we don't have any, it's not going to, this is going to be blank. So what we want to do is we want to click on set up a new device, new device to start that process. So in order to set up a new device, the first thing we want to do here is we want to select the device type which we're using a Raspberry Pi, so you can select that, although there are other options for Minnow Board, Dragon Board, and NXP. And what build of the operating system do we want to install? In this case, it's just the latest of IoT Core 17763. Uh, we're not going to pick custom there. And then where do you want to install it to? In this case, it's our F drive, which is the uh, SD card. And we're using that SD card reader for that. And that's the only one we have plugged in. So that's why you only see that. The device name uh, defaults to MinWin PC. So you can change that if you want it to be named something else. And then it will need uh, a, an administrator password. So you can type in what you'd like there. Once we have that, you have to click on accept the software license and then click this button download and install to begin the download process. You'll also notice that uh, there's a Wi-Fi network connection check checkbox here that you can select if you have any Wi-Fi profiles on your PC. Now I don't, so we'll just ignore that. Let's go ahead and click down and download and install. Now it's going to prompt you here to say, hey, I'm going to erase the SD card. That's fine. And then it will it'll go ahead and it'll download Windows IoT Core, uh, which takes a few minutes. I already have it downloaded. And then what it's going to do is it's going to begin flashing your SD card. So this takes a few minutes. And you can see here that it's verifying now the download. Once it finishes that, then it now will apply the image and is actually flashing to your SD card. Okay, now that that's been done, we're ready to put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi device so you can eject it from your PC and we'll put it into the Pi. Now that uh, we've got the Windows IoT Core software on the flash drive, we can put that into our 
Raspberry Pi device. Plug in our network. And then power it on. Make sure that your uh, display is on when you do this. And you can see that Windows IoT Core now is beginning its boot up process on the Pi and we'll step you through that uh, as there are some choices there. Okay, so you'll see once uh, you boot up the, the Pi for the first time and it goes through its loading screens, uh, Windows IoT Core comes to its first configuration screen, it's asking you to, to select a language. So we're just going to keep it at English. Hit Next. Now it's going to ask some questions about uh, what kind of information you want to send, basic or full. Uh, I always pick basic. Now it's going to ask you uh, to type in your administrative password that you entered in earlier. So go ahead and type that in. And then click sign in. And then hit and then hit next. You can decide whether or not uh, you want to enable location uh, so that it can detect where what location you're at. I'll just leave this as no and then you could just click accept. And at this point now, it's going to ask you whether or not you want to connect to any uh, Wi-Fi networks that uh, it detects. Uh, you can skip this step if you'd like, but I'd like to add this so that I don't have to plug in the ethernet cable every time I run this. So uh, I have a number of Wi-Fi networks here at my home and I'll just select one of them so I just select that one and say connect and it's going to ask for the key. And then once it connects, it goes on to the next screen. goes on to the home screen and now it's installed. So after you install and configure uh, IoT Core on the actual device and run through those configuration steps, you can come back here to uh, Windows Core uh, IoT Core dashboard and verify that uh, it sees your device. So you can see here under my devices, it actually sees the device that it just created. So uh, we can double click on this and it will give me a page here that will allow me to um, change the name of the device. Or if I want to configure other things uh, on that device, I can open the in, in, in window in open Windows device portal in a browser. So if I click on this, uh, it'll take me to this page that allows me to set up things like uh, I can change my password, I can change my device name, uh, set the time zone, and there's all sorts of things on the left here for uh, debugging uh, what apps are actually on the device, uh, setting up a t uh, and configuring a TPM, Windows update, and so on and so forth. Uh, we're not going to go into these that's out of the scope of this, but uh, this is a nice page for you to administer your, your, your device from. Okay, Windows 10 IoT Core is now installed and you are ready to begin developing apps that you can deploy to this device. If you like this video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment below. Thank you.